Hey guys, this is George. I'm just going to be doing a review of an app called Mobile PC Monitor. So I'll open it right here. Uh, this is the app itself. It's actually called PC Monitor. Uh, so what the app allows you to do is can basically like control and monitor your computer wirelessly. Um, it allows you to do this on any network, uh, on any network, so you don't have to be on the same Wi-Fi network as your computer. And I have a PC right in front of me right here, which I'll show you later to do a demonstration of uh, uh, some features you can do on on this app. And you can see right away in the um, in the basic uh, screen, the, the yeah the screen, the the interface. I already set up everything on my computer and in my iPad. So you do have to set up a new account when you buy the app, and it allows you to control up to five computers, or you can control more if you want to pay more. So I have currently one computer right here monitored. It's called George Lagray PC. Uh, right there, it shows you how long it's been uh, on. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in. It shows you how long it's been on and what operating system it is running on. And you can also divide your computers by groups, but I don't have, I don't have any uh, groups, so I'll just uh, show you my computer since I only have one. Um, so I'll uh, zoom out and show you. Uh, when you click on your, when you press on your computer, it shows you all these, um, all these things. So I'll go over them one by one. So first of all, you have your CPU usage. I'll zoom in a little bit. You have your CPU usage. Uh, you have your available RAM. Then you can monitor networks. So I'll zoom out, and there you can see these are all the network connections I have in my computer running. Um, the one I, I use for internet is this one, uh, local area connection, and it shows you the speed of uh, download and upload, and the status and everything. Then we can monitor hard drives. So in hard drives it tells you how much free space you have. Uh, let's wait for it to load, there we go. So it shows you each uh, hard drive you have and how much uh, free and total space you have. Then we can monitor services which I don't really use um, but if you need to you have it right here and we have no services monitored yeah I think you have to set those up one by one then we have processes this is one of like the best things you can monitor so it, it shows you each uh, process running on your computer so that's a pretty cool thing and not only that but it also allows you to kill processes so if you want to kill a certain process you can uh, press on it and select the kill so right now I'm going to do a demonstration of that Okay guys, so here I have my iPad, and as you can see I'm in the Processes tab, and right behind me I have my computer, as you can see, I turned the magnification on so I can uh, show you very big icons. So uh, this icon right here, it's the Gmail Notifier, so it's a, a small uh, app that opens right here on the taskbar and shows you if you, had, if you have unread mail. And what I'm going to show you right now is how you can kill processes with the iPad. So right now you can see Gmail Notifier. I'm going to try to get both things in the camera. You can see Gmail Notifier right here. So I'm going to click on it and select Kill Process. And you're going to see that icon right there disappear. So I'm going to press on that. And we should see it disappear in any moment now. I don't think I'm actually pressing it. There we go there I pressed it right now we just have to wait a little a while and it should disappear in any moment there we go uh, so now you can see all my icons have disappeared and uh, we don't uh, we don't see Gmail notifier anymore um, and here we can scroll through the list and you can see it doesn't appear anymore so that's just a demonstration of how to kill, kill processes on your computer Okay, so that was a demonstration of killing processes. Now we can see scheduled tasks, which, which I don't have any set up, so uh, you can set that up one by one if you want to. I don't really use this since I don't know what it does or anything. You can see which users are logged in in your computer. Obviously, I'm the only one in my computer logged in, so um, uh, it, it shows you, for example, uh, you can log off the user and it shows you information about uh, the connected user. Uh, you can view all system events if you want to. So we can see every event right here. You can go over one by one. A cool feature that I really didn't expect to see on an app like this is that you can send uh, terminal commands. 
So if you know uh, if you know your how to how to work your way around a terminal on your iPad, I mean on your PC, you can do the same thing with your iPad. So if you know any uh, terminal command, you can type it in right here, and it would be just like running it on your computer. So that's a pretty cool feature also that I liked a lot, even though I don't know any commands. And finally, you have commands for power consumption. For example, log off, suspend, uh, restart, shut down, uh, hibernate. Um, it doesn't have lock like the off remote app does, but uh, it has all these others and uh, it has all this information. Um, so that's about it for the app. Uh, I talked to, to the developer and he told me that he would be adding uh, features like uh, monitoring, monitoring temperatures and um, stuff like that. So that's going to be a pretty cool update. So you can buy this app by clicking on the link in the description. I'll put a download link right there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video review. Uh, remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at George Allegre. And thank you for watching. Goodbye, guys.